Hi friends, welcome to another painting video. I hope you're all doing well. Today I thought some ambient content would be really nice because it's super cloudy where I am. So feel free to just leave this running in the background while you do whatever or <laughs> get out a sketchbook and let's just hang out for a bit and chat. I am painting on this canvas fabric slash paper thing. I'm not totally sure what it's called from the top of my head, uh, but my mom actually introduced me to it. She was raving about it saying how it's like it's super fun and you have to try it and the best thing is, is that once you're done you can roll it and you can put it away. So she gave me a sheet to experiment with and I decided to paint this, I hope I'm saying it right, Arge Moth because it was pink and I really just wanted to paint something pink. I was also inspired by No Go Bed or Shanna's work. She paints so many pretty butterflies and moths with acrylic gouache so I just really wanted to try it with acrylic since I'm just playing around and I'm still not a huge fan of working with acrylic. I like the outcome, just not the process. Okay, so, hi, what side of a canvas are you supposed to paint on? Because I drew on the fabric side and not the white side, but now that I'm thinking about it, this is the fabric side, the back side. So did I just do my whole sketch on the back side? I think I did. Rats. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Well, I think I did. Does it really matter though? Probably. I don't know. We'll just redraw it. <laughs> so the other day I was scrolling on my Instagram feed and I saw an artist I follow. I don't remember their name, I wish I could. But they had posted this Draw This In Your Style challenge that they had done for, I'm going to butcher their name, uh, Azuri Art. And I just realized then that I still don't draw or create for myself yet. A lot of what I do is like, I do because I'm like, oh, for my art business, I want to have this and I feel like I need this and this would sell good because I'm really just trying to hit the ground running. I've been wanting to have an online shop and a YouTube for just so, so freaking long, so freaking long. And every time I've like gotten close to like doing it and finally like enjoying it, something has always just gotten in my way or I've gotten in my way. And I'm just really sick of it. So I really just want to like, you know, go for it. And I feel like I finally am. So like I'm working on acrylic charms and everything like that. But a lot of the art that I'm making now is because I feel like I have to make it for my business. And I'm still like having fun, like, you know, making acrylic charms and designing stickers and stuff like that. Not that it's not fun or anything, but I just have, I have a list of fun sketches that I want to do or fun uh, incorrect Star Wars quotes that I want to draw with the characters and like little zines that I want to make for myself and all this like cute cool little paintings and stuff and I just have yet to do it for myself. Uh, I always um, put whatever I consider work first which in the long run I think will benefit my art business but I think uh, in the long run of me enjoying art, I feel like that's going to cause burnout one day. And that is what I hope to avoid, as every artist does. And I also feel like I could, you know, I could get inspired by my stupid little sketches or like me trying to learn how to draw guys or just having fun in the art community with art challenges and 
Inktober or whatever. So I'm really just working on having myself, allowing myself to sit down and just work on something that excites me. And also allowing myself to not be, you know, to not always be happy with the outcome of what comes out because I'm just doing it for fun. And to remind myself that I'm just learning, so not everything I make has to be good. And as cringe as I feel that it is, uh, I want to be transparent about, like, you know, the stuff that doesn't come out so good or the stuff that, um, you know, my fails and how not everything that I make is going to be aesthetic and my setup is going to be messy from time to time. I'm occasion my big fat head is going to be occasionally just right smack in the shot because, you know, I'm trying to make this piece look cool. So I can't, you know, I can't always have the video look cool or the photo look cool when I'm trying to make something else look cool. As one person, it's just super hard. But I just want to, you know, there's a lot of uh, social media content out there that, you know, everything in their channel looks perfect and they have such an aesthetic room and they have, you know, every art piece I see is so pretty and it looks so good. And back then for me, that was like really crippling when I started to work on art and to like get into it because I'm like, oh my God, I cannot draw a man. I can't do it. I just want it to look good. And I'm still like in that phase because it still doesn't look as good as I'd want it to be. And it is definitely still a challenge. But it's like when I see everyone else's amazing, amazing man sketches, I'm like, dude, I just can't do it. And it's very like discouraging. But again, it's just like, you know, keep working on it. And in a few months, it's gonna look better. And it's just gonna look better, better, better. You know, just have to remember that. So last night, uh, I started doing a painting for myself. It's this painting of strawberries using acrylic gouache on this 18 by 24 piece of paper and uh, I'm so excited to get that done and slap that baby up on my wall because it's gonna be super nice wall decor. I struggle with like hanging up or potentially selling any of my original art pieces right now. Uh, I don't know what it is, I just get really, really attached to them after I finish them. Like this moth painting that you're seeing right now was originally going to get hung up in the coffee shop that I work at, but now it's um, up on my wall. <laughs> I, I just get so attached to it because I'm like, oh it looks so pretty in my room and I really, really like it. And like it's just really pretty wall decor. So my, my guess is, is once I fill up my walls, with just big art pieces and I have no more room on my walls, maybe then will my silly little brain be ready to let go of my art pieces to go sell or at least at the minimum trade them out so I can go sell it because it's just, oh my god, I struggle with it so much. But I'm really enjoying the strawberry painting that I did. I actually have a smaller version of it in my gouache slash pen sketchbook. I have it up on my Instagram and TikTok, I think, so you can go check it out there. My mom had seen it because I like frantically showed it to her because I'm like, look at my strawberries. And then she like, she was like, oh, it looks so good. But in like a motherly slash artist way, she scolded me and she was like, why did you paint this in your sketchbook? It looks so pretty. Now you're going to have to rip it out. Um, <laughs> so I didn't rip it out. I just, you know, I'm slapping it on a bigger piece of paper so I can hang it up in my room and oh my god, I'm so happy. I originally I was gonna do like maybe a little bit bigger than an 8 by 8 by 10 or whatever but I really have just been wanting to make like big big pieces since I've done the moth painting and I'm so happy that I did because I'm so so excited to again slap this bad boy up on my wall once it's done and yeah, I'm just stoked. I'm so stoked. 